Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to take advantage of FixMeIT's restart as a service feature in situations where your client doesn't have or know the admin credentials for their computer. The remote client doesn't require admin rights to run the FixMeIT application, which means that you can't always connect to their machine. However, by Windows Design, if the application was started as a standard user, you wouldn't be able to complete any tasks that require admin rights, such as modifying system settings or installing software on the remote computer. First of all, let me show you what happens when you connect to a client that doesn't have admin rights and when you don't restart the client as a Windows system service. After starting the remote session, you'll immediately see the following notification, which says that you must restart the client as a Windows system service. I'm going to ignore it for now and run the remote desktop control action. Now I'm going to do something as simple as running, say, Google Chrome as administrator. Once I right click and try to do that, my screen is locked and there's this error message saying that the application is unable to capture the remote screen. At this point, there's physically a UAC prompt displayed on the client's screen and I'm unable to unlock the screen or continue the session until the client responds to that prompt in any way. Now I'm going to show how to overcome this problem by restarting as a service. I'm going to start a new session, and as soon as the client accepts the request for connection, you'll see the same notification saying that you must restart the client as a Windows system service. I'm going to click on this link, and then I'll be prompted to enter admin credentials for the remote computer. You have the option to either enter them yourself or request the remote user for their Windows password. So say I know those credentials. I'll enter them and click on OK. At this point, all the remote user has to do is accept the UAC dialog displayed on their computer. Once the user responds to the UAC, you'll see the following message on your chat panel saying that the client application has been successfully restarted. What this means is that you're now able to view and control any UAC dialogs that appear on the remote computer. I'm going to run the remote desktop control action and once it's been started, I'm going to open the control panel and modify the UAC settings, which always requires admin rights. I'm going to go to User Accounts, Change User Account Control Settings. This will trigger a UAC prompt which I can now fully see and control. Basically, I can make any changes to the account as well as elevate or decrease the user account control protection. I'm going to make some changes here, enter the password again, and there it is. The new settings have been successfully saved. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.